short time, would you please make a very big London welcome for the supreme recording artist, Mr. Robert Glasper. <laughs> pretty much when I was small. Now, we always had a piano in the house, so I kind of started tingling on it when I was around 10. And, uh, you know. and then um, around, around 12, 13, I started actually like, you know, trying to figure some things out by ear, tapes and stuff. I played in church for a few years, and then I went to um, this high school I heard of called the High School for Performing and Visual Arts. I got a full scholarship to the new school university in Manhattan. While I was in school, um, I met up with Cat Bilal, one of my best friends. I started working with him, and then, um, while, so while I was working with him, that's when I got into the hip-hop side of everything. That's when I met, you know, uh, ended up meeting and working with Common and Mustaf and the q and stuff like that. I was on the road with Russell Malone. Then I went on tour with Roy Hargrove, and Nicholas Payton, and Kenny Garrett, and stuff like that, all while I was in college still. So. My mom was a jazz head, and she, she used to do sing jazz gigs and, and uh, Broadway gigs, country gigs, R&B gigs, gospel things. Like she was a musical mutt. <laughs> That's why I'm a musical mutt. different like back in the day you know jazz cats were on all those Motown records and stuff like that you, back in the day that was the thing to do they had to groove that was, that's what it was and then uh, nowadays you hear people say oh I got these jazz cats playing in the dance like ah, oh jazz cats ah that's one thing but I can play a sample I can sound like a sample exactly like a sample you know what I mean but that takes discipline as well that, that's why it's a whole thing because you know, a lot of jazz cats don't have discipline to do that. It's like, oh, we're playing jazz, a lot of notes, a little fast, oh, we're running all the time. You know, there's a time for that stuff, and then there's a time to sell in the groove. And just, you know, I love to sell in the groove. I stay there all day, you know what I mean? It feels good to MCs and, and, and uh, you know. So I think that's why they mess with me as well. And they, they like what I do for my with my own thing, because my trio, you know, there are things about my trio that's very reminiscent of a jazz sample. So it was a music that was made for, you know, uh, to break away from that mindset and to be free and for people to come out and dance and have fun and kind of try to forget about what's outside those doors in the world, you know what I'm saying? So it was, a, it's off top, it's like, it's a freedom music, you know what I'm saying? Hip hop is the same way, it's like a, you know, a, a, a revolutionary kind of type thing, type music. So I have a connection with both of those things for that reason as well. <laughs> 